Snipers, you have to see what's happening in the cryptocurrency market today is Bitcoin is retesting the previous weekly open at 56,150 and we are back below the 50 period moving average on the daily chart in between the monthly open and the previous weekly open with the monthly open sitting at 57,700 and notice how we've yet to cross 58,300 and for those tuned into the Snipers channel, you know, I've been talking about this level being the confirmation if we're going to see continued upside for Bitcoin and now the chart is clearly telling us this is an extremely important level. And with futures markets opening later today, I want to talk about what I'm expecting for the total cryptocurrency market, because you can see when we look at the total cryptocurrency market cap chart, we are above this monthly open, which is extremely positive with this potentially bullish tail here with this daily candle that's about to close in seven hours. And then the Ethereum to US dollar price heading towards the three thousand dollar big even with the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart showing that we still have room to go to the upside towards our target of the 53,672 Satoshi area, which would certainly bring Ethereum's US dollar price to the $3,000 level. We have a lot to look at today. You guys are watching the Snipers channel. My name is Naeem Alobedi. If you appreciate this content, remember to smash the like button. I want to go straight to this four hour chart to Bitcoin because I want to address what's happening to the volume here. You can see we do have some nice buy volume coming in with no sellers in sight. And we are at this major level of 58 8,300 forming this bullish flaggish type of pattern as you can see here and we are testing the previous weekly open right now and that is sitting at 56,150 but we are below the current monthly open at 57,700 this is an extremely easy schematic to read in my opinion because because there's such a tight range here between the monthly open and previous weekly open if we want to assume the next direction for Bitcoin if we break 56,150 in my opinion, that would be the first sign of a potential downside scenario taking us back down towards the $50,000 big even. However, if we see continuation back to the upside and we cross above this monthly open at 57,700, which is right there close to 56,150, then that could be the confirmation that we're going to come up to retest 58,300 and potentially break through this area. And I do believe if we get above 58,300, we may start to see some volume come in and a potential breakout towards that $61,844 level. And so we are at an extremely important range right now when it comes to Bitcoin's price action. We really want to monitor this previous weekly open at 56,150. And then, of course, the $58,300 level, which you all know is an extremely important level. And it is not a coincidence that Bitcoin is having a cup of coffee in between two very significant levels, because that's what charts do. And that's what assets do at important levels. They reject important resistance levels and they hold important support levels. And so that's what we want to monitor when it comes to the Bitcoin price. Of course, futures markets are opening. The weekend is when we see the most amount of manipulation and the path of least resistance when there's low volume is always going to be sideways to a little bit higher. So don't be surprised if we see higher prices for Bitcoin, if we start to see downside, 56,150 is what we want to watch. When we look at the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, we are seeing low volume, the path of least resistance sideways to a little bit higher, but we are over and above this channel, as you can see. And notice how we are above the monthly open, the previous weekly open and weekly open showing strength beyond Bitcoin this month. Of course, I talked about Ethereum being the stronger asset over the last 30 days, and that's exactly what's proven true. And so far, we're monitoring the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart and we have yet to reach our target of 53,672 Satoshis. And so that to me shows us there is potential upside for the Ethereum to US dollar price. And of course, we are sitting at that big psychological number, 3000 US dollars. If we break into that level, we could potentially see 3100, 3300 and then start to see some sideways price action at this level. If we're going to assume a entry for Ethereum as a long position, I think we're going to want to wait and potentially see if we can come and test this monthly open at twenty seven hundred and sixty five. At some point or another, we could see three thousand before that. But I think that there is some potential downside at some point for Ethereum because it's such a volatile asset. It typically likes to come up and down. It forms these long standing channels. And we've seen that in the past with Ethereum. So notice how it's an extremely volatile asset. So don't be surprised if we come into 3000, break through it and then maybe see a retest of that monthly open. But that's just more of a shot in the dark that I'm throwing out there, of course, 
for those tuned into the Sniper's channel, I will keep you guys updated as the chart matures. And then we pull the total cryptocurrency market cap chart up and we go into the daily. Notice how we are seeing this potentially bullish wick form today on the daily candle above the monthly open price action right now, maintaining price action there. That's extremely important when the chart is showing that this is an important level. It will maintain the price action above that important level. And so because we are above the monthly open, this could be a hint that we're going to see new all time highs for the total cryptocurrency market cap. And that would come into altcoins, of course, because others dominance is far surpassing Bitcoin dominance ever since the start of this year. And you can see we are still maintaining this ascending support level. So no worries when it comes to altcoins at this point, Bitcoin dominance still forming new lows, crossing below a big even of 50% dominance currently at 49% dominance forming new lows every single day. And with traditional markets opening up later today, I want to cover what's happening to the DXY and what I'm watching for as we start to see traditional markets open, because this would affect the cryptocurrency markets. Notice how the DXY closed the week on Friday with this bullish engulfing candle at this major area. We have this 100 period moving average, which we're now back above. And then we have this 20 week moving average that we're now above. And so notice how we do have this potential inverse head and shoulder pattern forming here on this weekly and daily chart. And if we start to see the DXY cross above 91.537, that's when I would have some potential concerns that we may see downside in traditional markets, which could affect the cryptocurrency markets. Because when we look at the ES futures contracts, when we look at the S&P 500, notice how we close the week showing the opposite of what the DXY is doing. And that's typically how the natural correlation of the DXY and traditional markets works. When the DXY goes up, the dollar strengthens, assets come down. You can see we had this push back down at this weekly open, retouching home base with the previous weekly open, also showing confluence where that weekly open sits. If we see the ES S&P 500 E-mini futures contracts cross below 4165, that could be a sign that we're going to come back to home base towards this monthly open. And this amount of downside here, let's actually measure this could affect cryptocurrency markets. That's about a 5% decrease in traditional markets, which is quite a lot when it comes to a huge trillion, you know, multi, multi, multi trillion dollar market like the S&P 500, 5% could certainly affect the cryptocurrency market. So we do want to monitor the DXY and traditional markets as we start to see futures markets opening. And with that being said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching this video. I couldn't do this without you. I want to give away one of my favorite books on investing principles by Ray Dalio. If you want to enter this giveaway, just comment below and share this video. You'll have a chance to win. Tracy S says good analysis. As always, send me a message on Instagram. The link is in the description below. You won principles by Ray Dalio, my fav favorite book on value investing. And with that, thank you all for watching and tuning into the Snipers channel today. Until next time, Snipers 